Johnny's master plan to ditch the film industry. Take one. I have a plan. Transform. A secret master plan. But first, a message to my bosses. Dear donkeys, have fun with your meaningless ideas. If you're anything like me, you're tired of the politics and BS in the film industry. I've never hated my life so much. I stopped uploading to YouTube. Uh, I guess you can call it a failure or an opportunity for a comeback. People kept asking me where I was at. Well, I was held hostage. Yeah, you can have that one. But I escaped. And now, my plan is simple. To take over YouTube. Did you forget about me? You're hurting my feelings. No, kidding. But seriously, did you? I don't know. I think this is a, is this a good idea. I'm starting to doubt myself. The channel is a mess, and I'm trying to find a way to love making films again. Making my dream projects made me hate making films. I wanted to quit. I wanted to start a pizzeria and to never make films again. What happened? This is Johnny's guide to the film industry. You have an ID, might not be a brilliant ID, but uh, maybe it is. And then you go out and you pitch it to, for instance, television, who really likes your ID. Cash is flying all around. It might even be an orgy going on uh, because everybody's so happy. But anyway, this process of going asking for money, then coming around to the orgy, then everybody, they come out and they celebrate. That is a dream that does not happen. <sighs> Sooner or later, the orgy ends. Punches are being thrown, but poof, they tell you what to do. The most unrewarding, depressing, stressful time of my life. Like I've never hated my life so much as when I work with television. So I think I need to get back to where I was planning to be, but forgot about. <laughs> I bought this farm a couple of years ago. It's probably 10 years ago, actually. So it's more than a couple of years ago. But anyway, I moved out of here and I've just made a really sweet life. I wonder what I've been there. I can't go without a bit of a man. Who have I did this to separate myself from the traditional industry. I did it to separate myself so I could focus on my projects. But I still have to make money. <laughs> I can't just live here, I have to make money as well. <clears throat> and that, that has been proven to be a little bit difficult if you want to separate yourself from the industry. <sighs> okay, sit down to... I uploaded my first video 13 years ago, and I still haven't figured the platform out. I don't get it. They cut fast and they do dumb stuff. Is that what people want to watch? Nej, du får inte springa där nu då, för nu filmar ju pappa. Nu får du vänta. After being kidnapped for three years, he discovers a spacesuit that can travel to other dimensions. 
transform a rogue filmmaker on a mission to take down the industry. He might even blow up a TV station. What do you think? And the wonderful director is here, Johnny von Wallström. Many of you have probably released a film, so you might recognize this. You go to the cinema, maybe you get celebrated because your film is so freaking good and your work is awesome. Yeah, I, that's happened for me at least. And you know what happened when I started making films for television? Emptiness. I have six months, then I'm out of money. If I don't get this channel to work, I will have to go back to being kidnapped. Right now, the channel is losing subscribers. Johnny's master plan to ditch the film industry. Take one. First, we need to write a book where I need to write it. Second step, relaunch YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, and a lot of people have asked me about uh, the Kino project. It's still ongoing. And then the next step... That leads me to this. What if I created a persona that went out and fought the film industry? Could that work? Is it stupid enough to generate views? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to try. Hands, you. Some mother nice cream pie. Just being in your very presence can make a man go impotent. You have to suffer. That's what effort looks like. If you want me to get kidnapped, dislike this video. If you want me to uh, keep making this video, like this video. Bye. I want to see that guy who immersed himself in hell and he thought about quitting and all this crazy shit and found out a way to get through it. <laughs>